When you withdraw money from your traditional TSP account, there's generally an automatic 20% tax that's withheld from your distribution. But can you access your TSP savings without losing a significant chunk to taxes up front? The short answer is yes. However, there's only a few exceptions to this rule. In this video, I'm going to highlight those exceptions and explain the basics of the TSP tax withholding. But before we dive into the details, welcome to the Money Briefing. My name is Jerrell Harvey and I'm with Fedway Financial. On this channel, we cover topics related to personal finance, federal benefits, and retirement planning. So if you find this video helpful, please consider sharing and subscribing. If you're planning to withdraw money from your TSP account at any point during retirement or while you're still working, it's really important to understand the 20% tax withholding. This withholding can sometimes feel like an unexpected blow, but knowing why it's there and how to potentially work around it can improve your financial planning. While there's no way to completely avoid paying taxes you might eventually owe, there are certain conditions where you might be able to access your TSP money with less tax implications. So let's first discuss what the 20% tax withholding is and why it's applied. The IRS mandates that qualified employer retirement plans like the TSP, 401k, and 403b automatically withhold 20% of your withdrawal amount for federal income tax. This withholding is similar to how your agency withholds a portion of your regular paycheck for taxes before you receive it. For example, if you decide to withdraw $10,000 from your TSP, you won't actually get the full amount. Instead, you'll receive $8,000 and the remaining $2,000 goes straight to the IRS. This withholding is not an extra tax. Rather, it's a prepayment of the federal income taxes you might owe on the distribution. The primary purpose of this withholding is to make tax payments more manageable. By withholding a part of your TSP distribution, the government ensures that taxes are collected in advance and throughout the year to help you stay up with your taxes. This reduces the chance of facing a large tax bill, which could be problematic if you don't have enough cash to cover your tax obligation. Despite the relatively high withholding rate, the good news is that most retirees and federal employees will have a lower effective tax rate than 20%. So some of the tax withholding may get refunded in the following tax season. Even though the 20% tax withholding is the standard, there are several exceptions that allow you to access your funds without facing the immediate 20% tax hit. The first exception is for individuals who arrange periodic life expectancy payments or installment payments that are expected to last 10 or more years. For these withdrawals, federal taxes will be withheld as if you're a single with zero exceptions. However, if you want something different than the default setting, you can change your withholdings to match your marital status and number of dependents, or you can specify a certain amount of taxes to be withheld or you can have no taxes withheld at all. Another exception to the 20% rule involves payments that satisfy your RMD requirements. Only 10% will be withheld for any payment that goes toward meeting your required minimum distribution. You can also reduce RMD tax withholdings down to 0%. The age to start taking RMDs has increased a couple of times over the past few years, going from 70 and a half to 72 and now at 73. The beginning RMD age will increase again in 2033 to age 75. The first two exceptions that we've already discussed mainly affect retirees, but the third exception is for current employees who need to take a financial hardship withdrawal. For this exception, 10% is typically withheld on the taxable portion for federal taxes, but this percentage can be increased, decreased, or even waived as well. For hardship withdrawals, you can also request a withdrawal amount up to 125% of your financial need to help cover any tax withholdings. The last way to bypass the immediate 20% tax withholding is to directly transfer your TSP funds into an IRA, then withdraw the transfer funds directly from your individual retirement account. 
Usually with an IRA, you have more flexibility on managing your tax withholdings. Some financial institutions may still require you to withhold a minimal percentage amount for federal income taxes, but typically that percentage is less than the 20% TSP requirement. This is a very popular option for retirees and current employees over age 59 and a half who want to minimize their upfront tax liability but do not need ongoing periodic payments from their TSP or have not met their RMD starting age. It's also important to mention if you choose to waive the tax withholding on any of the withdrawal exceptions that we've already discussed, it still doesn't free you from paying taxes on the distributions that you receive. You may also be required to pay state and local taxes on that money when you file your taxes since the TSP does not withhold state or local income taxes. On the other hand, if your withdrawal includes qualified Roth money, those funds will not be subject to the 20% tax withholding or any other type of taxes. Other distribution options like periodic payments, RMD payments, hardship withdrawals, and direct rollers won't free you of taxes, but they can allow you to access your TSP funds without an immediate 20% tax hit. If you received any value from this video, please click the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel to get more content like this. If you're interested in seeing how we help our clients at Fedway Financial get the most out of their money and federal benefits, please visit our website at www.fedwayfinancial.com or you can schedule a free consultation by clicking on the meeting link in the video description. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next Money Briefing.